Okay, so this uh, video will describe how to get access to information about your PaperCut account and how to add credit to your account. You'll find that in the bottom right hand corner of the screen you have a window uh, for your PaperCut information. Whenever a new account is created, by default um, $40 credit in black and white credits will be given to you and that's why you see the $40 uh, credit here. This uh, window will always display a total of your credit for both of your accounts, both your black and white and color print credits. In order to get some details about uh, what you have available in your account, you can use the details button here. Clicking on that will open up a web browser with a sign in page, which you can use your digital locker information to sign in. And once you've signed in, see here, uh, the two account informations uh, available, both your black and white print quota. This $40 quota is provided once every September for undergrad students and once a term for uh, MDES students. Uh, any funds that you have in this account will roll over from year to year and uh, in the fourth year when you're preparing to graduate if you have a credit uh, remaining balance in your color credits of over $20 then that amount will be refunded to you via uh, uh, check requisition from the university. So at any point in time you can check to see the status of your account. You can see how much color print credits you have. Uh, black and white credits as I said uh, are given to you on a yearly basis. Uh, should you want to add color credits to your account you can do so in one of two ways. One by visiting the design office on the fourth floor of TEL and using a debit card to purchase color print credits anywhere from $20 to $200. Uh, or you can use the add credit uh, button here on the sidebar that will allow you to add credit again in uh, predetermined denominations from $20 all the way up to $200. This is uh, this process links you to a uh, third-party Moneris credit card processing website, a uh, secure website. So once you've determined how much you want to add, add the value, you would fill in your credit card information here and process the transaction. Uh, if the transaction is successful, you will then be returned to the, um, uh, to the paper cut page and a new balance will be indicated here. Again, that balance will be a combination of both your black and white and print credits. In order to see the breakdown of those, you can go back to the summary and see your uh, individual account credits. As your uh, credits are depleted and your print jobs are printed, you'll see this graph change based on the value or the balance that you have at any given time. You can also have a look at uh, what jobs you have printed in this case this is a new account and no jobs have been printed but you will see when the job was printed to which printer what the cost of the job was and whether it was um, su successfully completed or refunded or cancelled. Another option for uh, transferring money from one user's account to another is the transfer option here on the sidebar and this will allow you to send credit to another user's account so for example if there was uh, no one available in the lab and you didn't have uh, color credit to print with, you could ask someone to transfer money into your account. All they would need to know is your user ID and you would type that in here and then an amount and I would recommend putting in a comment here about the transaction so that should you ever need to reference the transaction in future, there is some notes about uh, what the arrangement was, whether you're, uh, you know, paying them back or it was uh, a free transfer of money whatever the case might be and then finally transferring it by clicking on the button here. We can log out of this window and we get back to uh, paper cut once again uh, if you use this uh, URL up at the top you can access the paper cut uh, window from anywhere uh, on the web so make sure you check out the rest of our videos uh, located at the Tech Info site at design.yorku.ca slash tech underscore info.